My name is Jim Jasinski. I'm with Ohio State University, the Department of Extension, the Integrated Pest Management Program. And today I'm out here at the research station in South Charleston, and I want to talk to you about early season cucurbit pests, namely cucumber beetles, and a disease that they can vector or spread called bacterial wilt. Both the striped and spotted cucumber beetles are pretty easy to identify based on the markings on their body. The striped have stripes, the spotted have spots. Cucumber beetles can attack all the members of the cucurbit family. So that's pumpkins, squash, watermelon, melons, and cucumbers. They can do a lot of physical damage by chewing on the seedlings. So you really want to be paying attention when these uh, seeds go in the ground and when the plants sprout up. Plants in this stage here are kind of more in the second leaf stage. And so uh, this is still a very vulnerable stage. Those uh, striped and spotted cucumber beetles, they really like to hang out on the bottom of the leaves and they really like to chew on the undersides of the cod leadens. So when you're going through the field scouting, you want to pay particular attention to the bottom side of the leaves and not just the top side of the leaves. How do I know if I've gone over threshold and when do I need to treat or how do I manage these pests? Well, one way would be to scout for them. So when the plants are in a small seedling stage like you see here, anywhere from cod leading up to about the third or fourth leaf, look in several areas of the, of the field, look at the plants above the leaves, look at the lower surface of the leaf, and count the number of beetles that you find and the number of plants that you looked at. Divide that out. For plants that are in the uh, cod leading to first leaf stage, we're looking at a threshold of about a half a beetle per plant. So, if you have over half a beetle per plant and those plants are that small, you might be justified to use a foliar insecticide. As the plants get larger, the threshold goes up. So if we're talking about a plant that might be in the second or third or fourth leaf stage, then the threshold goes up to about one beetle per plant. While scouting and treating is certainly one of our preferred methods, it's not the only way to control these cucumber beetles. If you don't have the time to do the scouting, you can also buy seed that's treated with far more FI-400, which contains both a fungicide and a systemic insecticide to treat the cucumber beetles as the plants are emerging. The seed coat dissolves, the thiamethoxin gets taken up by the plant, circulates throughout the plant, and it protects it from early season feeding. While this is a great strategy for controlling cucumber beetles early season, there are some effects downstream, such as a little bit of this insecticide could be in the pollen or nectar that might be available to pollinators as they come and visit the flowers later on in the season. If you're not into direct seeding, if transplanting is more the route you're going to go, then we recommend that you do not use far more FI 400 seed treatment uh, on, the, on the seeds that you put in the greenhouse, but instead, either do a bench top drenching uh, with a uh, systemic insecticide or as you're transplanting, uh, drench with a systemic insecticide as a means to protect the plant from cucumber beetles early on. There's also a final option of just direct seeding in the field and in furrow applying a systemic insecticide that will be taken up uh, by the plant to give it protection against the cucumber beetles. If you decide to do this, please use the lowest rate that's effective Again, the systemic material will end up in the pollen and the nectar and be available to the pollinators as they come to visit the flowers. If you're concerned about minimizing the impact of insecticides on pollinators, here's our guidelines. You can direct seed, scout for the beetles, and then treat if they go over the threshold. You can use the far more FI 400 treated seed. You can transplant. You can use systemic insecticide on the bench top in the greenhouse, or you can use that as a uh, transplant water in the field. And then lastly, you can direct seed and use the systemic insecticide right in the furrow. Now let's talk about bacterial wilt. The reason that we want to control these cucumber beetles early season is because they have the potential to vector or transmit this disease. It's a bacterial disease that gets into the plant and the bacteria will multiply inside the water conducting tissue in the xylem and then eventually clog the water from moving from the roots out to the tip of the plant and you'll see this shrunken, shriveled, wilted look. Once the plant is infected with bacteria, there is no way to treat for it and that plant will eventually die. The good news is only a small fraction of these beetles carry bacterial wilt. So not every beetle that you see carries the disease. So the key to managing bacterial wilt is actually managing the beetles that transmit the wilt, which are the striped and the spotted cucumber beetles. 
I hope you found this information about managing beetles and bacterial wilt in the early season useful for your operation. If you have any questions, please contact me.